Hi, welcome to our VB developing channel. Today the subject of our discussion is, how we will display the data from the database in the data grid view. Let's say here, our focus will be only on data grid view connectivity. Here we will not discuss any data connection or anything else. If anyone has questions about data connection etc., then for them we putting the connection related video link, in the video description box, they can please watch the video from there. Now we come back to our main discussion. Today our topic of discussion is how to display data from database to data grid view in vb.net. To begin with, data can be loaded in data grid view in two ways. One is through data table and other is through data set. We will discuss two methods here. Through this we can know the difference between data set and data table. And we will learn about how to use data set and data table in data grid view. So let's start without wasting time. First we will add a form. Here we put the form name and click on add. Here we will slightly increase the size of form. Now we add a data grid view and set some setting. First we will give the data grid view, a name. From here we will change some settings, please take note of them. Ok, we have set it up, we will set it up again later. Now we will do the coding. Here first we will import MySQL data, because we are using MySQL database here. Here we will create a structure, through coding to load data into the data grid view. Here we will first load the data in the data grid view, through the data table. That's why we use data table here.
OK, now our structure is done. Now here we will write the query, just like we write the query in the database. Let's say one more thing here, if we run any database query within this double quotation, it will run successfully. Now we go to MySQL database workbench. Now we copy this query and paste it here. OK now our structure is complete. Now we will copy and paste it into the from load event. OK, now we will execute it. Wow, you can see that our data is successfully displayed in the data grid view. Well, now we will write these columns in a more beautiful way, so that it looks a little more beautiful. Okay, now we need to write the table columns in detail here. Okay, now here are the table column names in detail with aliases. Now the current table columns are like this. After execution our table columns look like this. Now we will copy and paste it here. Now we execute again. Now here you can see that the column types have changed as usual. Now we will also set the size of the columns.
Now here you can see that the column size has changed, and looks better than before. Now we will set the column font and alignment. Now here we will change some settings from data grid view. First is data grid view column header default cell style, and second is data grid view default cell style. After that we will see the execution once again. Now you can see that it looks much better, than before. Now we will get back into coding. So far we have displayed the data through the data table in the data grid view. Now we will display data through data set. Now let's talk about a difference from my experience, that is, if there are few rows in a table in our database, like below 50k, in that case, if we use a data table, there is no problem. But when the number of rows increases then it is not correct to use data table. That's because the data is very slow or takes more time to load. But the data set does not have this problem and runs very smoothly. And there are many advantages to using data sets that I will discuss later. Now we change data table to data set and set everywhere. Now we execute again and see. Alright, you can see here, that our data is correctly displayed, in the data grid view through the data set. Many thanks to those who watched the video. If this video is useful to you, in any cause, then please subscribe our channel and share the video. Then we will get motivated to make videos. And like the video. Thank you.